the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops that has criticized the government's formation of a task force to formulate a framework for the regulation of religious institutions following revelations of the Shakahola cult debts. The chairperson, Martin Kivuva, pointed out that the Conference of Bishops is perturbed by what appears to be the public portrayal of religion as wicked. As Marianne Yambura reports, the Catholic bishops have commended both the government and the opposition for embracing dialogue through bipartisan talks to bring to an end nationwide anti-government protests championed by the opposition. Hundreds of Catholic faithful from different parts of the country gathered at the Nakuru Boys High School for the installation of a new Nakuru Catholic Diocese Bishop, Cleophas Osesotuka. The ceremony brought together a host of leaders who came to witness the installation. Among them, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. Politics of religion took center stage as the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, KCCB, called for a sober approach to the investigations into the Shakahola cult deaths. After the government formed a task force which is expected to give a framework on the regulations of religious institutions. As a conference, we are concerned that instead of government seeking address to the matter with serious staff, attention is now on regulation of churches. We are thinking and reflecting what is the way forward. We ask our political leaders to stop demonizing the practice of religion. On Friday, President William Ruto appointed a 17-member task force to review the legal and regulatory framework governing religious organizations. A task force that Reverend Mutava Musimi will lead. KCCB condemned the happenings at Shakahola, but disagrees with the government's approach. We have been going on for the last 20 years. We are saddened and we want to also remember them and especially relatives and friends who may have lost their dear ones there. And the government of the Republic of Kenya will not allow anybody to hide behind the pulpit, to hide behind the Church of Christ, to commit crimes. Criminals will be dealt with as criminals in accordance with the laws of this country, in accordance with the Penal Code and the Criminal Procedure Act. The Catholic bishops also took note of the opposition and government efforts to pave way for the bipartisan talks to address differences, warning that any other approach would lead to doom. We urge them, we urge them to again find space to make this country what we'd love and wish it be, country of peace. And basically that war in Khartoum is happening because two political leaders cannot agree with one another and the whole population has to suffer because of it. Politics can only happen when there is dialogue. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa said he welcomed talks to provide avenues and solutions to ensure peace in the country. If it is something that can be done, we'll do it. If it's within the law, we'll do it. You know, but if it's something that we don't know, there's nothing we can do. Cleophas Oseso Tuka takes over the leadership of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru after Archbishop Maurice Mohatia was transferred to Kisumu. Marianne Nyambura, Citizen TV.